Hey, what's going on guys? Eric with Catalan here. Right now we are here at the last one. I thought our other job that we did was a beast and the longest yard of the year, but this one takes the cake. Check it out. Hey guys, so we're gonna be working solo today. Maddie and Dylan are at school. We have we don't really have a lot to do today. It's pretty much just cleanups and minor lawn maintenance. Nothing too nothing too significant, nothing too big, nothing that I can handle by myself. You know, I've seen videos on YouTube about individuals working solo. You know, it is, if you have the right equipment and you have the right mindset, you can absolutely do this job by yourself. You don't need help, but to be efficient, to get more jobs done, to be more profitable, you're obviously gonna need employees later on, but it's really depends on your situation, depends on what you want and you know what type of quality you need. Now, we we have these two yards right here. Uh, this neighbor that we, the yard that we're gonna do right now, um, he was a neighbor to a customer that we had last season and he came over, asked us if we could get an estimate, he approved it. So we're gonna get this job done real quick and then we'll be on to the next one. So let's go get it done, guys. So we finished with the other job and right now we are here at the last one. Um, I thought our other job that we did was a beast and the longest yard of the year, but this one takes the cake. Check it out. That is waist high grass, literally. I think the biggest concern is what's in here. I don't see or feel, I've already walked the yard once, but I don't see or feel any stumps or sticks. So we contacted the individual that called us and we explained that she's going to have to pay for this if she wants us to do it. So we're waiting her answer on what she wants us to do because we're not going to cut unless she gives us the thumbs up that she's going to pay the amount that we estimated. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, so the customer said okay to our price. And we made sure that we actually priced it correctly because of the amount of work that was gonna be needed for that. What we did was, hold on, let's see if I can fit. What we did was we basically, um, we trimmed the perimeter of the yard and then we looked around the tree. Uh, there were exposed rooting so we made sure that we we cut that low enough so i could see it when i go take the right this is this is just it's scary because i don't want to take the right through there but you know if i'm precautious and i if i make sure that I, i'm doing everything correctly it shouldn't be an issue so these are what these machines are built for to uh basically 
handle situations like this and this is why I bought this mower because the last time we did this it took us about two and a half hours to do just because we didn't have the correct mower we're hoping it's gonna be good we didn't fit through the other gate so I got kind of worried because I really don't want to have to push mow this now that I already committed to it uh, and then the uh, the back gate right here um, we're gonna see if if it handles uh, enough spacing for the right to fit through so fingers crossed if it doesn't then I'm basically um, I'm screwed. Well, you got it done, but when you have the right equipment, any job is easy. All right, so, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's better than what it was, and this individual won't get fined by the city, so that's always good. But, we're all done for the day. 
finished everything. Good to go. Oh, let me get this. Yeah, that took a while, but I had to fit it through that gate. Couldn't go through the front. And it was very, 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 very tight fit. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm tired. But, alright guys. Well, that's it for the video. Um, thanks for watching. And obviously, like I said, if you have the right equipment, any job is easy. I'll see you next time. Catch you later.